So you were just born a new bee. You have no idea what's going on in this world. You're young, you're fresh, you're excited. You're new to this hive in this strange world with all of your flying insect friends. And all you know is that you need to work. If you don't contribute to the hive, the hive could abandon you or even kill you. And you just simply don't want to be someone who's not producing for the hive. So you look at the different types of jobs and you will soon be able to select. There are nine main types of jobs which you can have, and as you age in your life, your job can actually shift. Most bees actually will change their role depending on their age, and they usually begin with the nursing role, and when you're extremely old, you will end with the foraging role. Without further ado, here are the nine types of jobs which you can have as a newly hatched bee, and again, these roles could shift over your life. However, you best get producing because your hive needs you, and if you're not working for the hive, they could be working against you and kick you out. Job number one, nurse and house bee. Upon hatching, each fledging bee immediately cleans out its hatching cell to prepare it for the next egg. Its first duty as a working member of the hive is to care for the young. As a nurse, a young bee will feed the brood, the collective term for honeybee young, pupae, and larvae. So you essentially just need to take care of the new bees and stuff like that as soon as you are born. The second role which you could take is the undertaker. Honeybees are sticklers for cleanliness. With so many live bodies coming and going from the hive, there are sure to be a few dead ones. You see, bees age as well, just like the humans, so you are going to have to carry out the dead bees, clean up their bee parts as well as any other debris inside of the hive. It's very important that the hive is clean so you can remain efficient. The third type of role which you could have is the architect. Several tasks fall under this category. As a young bee ages, its wax glands mature. When it's able to secrete wax, it's able to build a comb. Wax producing bees are also required to cap pupae and ripen honey cells. Bees in this category repair damaged comb and fill cracks in the hive with propolis, which is a sticky substance bees collect from tree resin. You will essentially be maintaining the hive as the architect and making sure that the whole place is well and functional. Just like the humans have to take care of their buildings and build places for them to work, you're going to make sure that the living quarters as well as the working quarters are all functioning perfectly. The fourth possible role you could have is the cleaners, organizers, and honey makers. Some female bees are tasked with the duty of cleaning their sisters in the hive and tending to others when they return from foraging trips. These workers remain in the hive to collect pollen and nectar from returning bees, packing it into cells and putting it away for later. Some of these same bees might be put on honey duty. Raw nectar requires digestive enzymes from select worker bees as well as diligent fanning to reduce moisture and create honey. This is a very important role as you will essentially be creating honey and helping with this whole process. The fifth role is where we start to enter royalty. Queen's attendance. Not many worker bees get this prestigious status, so if you work hard in the other roles, you might just rise to this rank in your lifetime. The queen is so busy in her own duties that she's unable to groom or feed herself. For this, she enlists a dozen or so attendant bees. These workers, or essentially her daughters, care for the queen as she goes about the hive. Just make sure to do this task correctly and not upset the queen, for if you upset the queen and you bother her in any way, you could be saying goodbye to the hive and your life. However, this also is an extremely prestigious position, so make sure you work hard to get to this position and you can enjoy some new cool perks. The next possible role you could have is the forager. Now don't get me wrong, every role in the hive is critically important to its success and survival, but forager bees receive the most press and the most prestige. These are the awesome bees, the bees that everybody wants to be. You can only be it when you're a little bit older because you have to complete many of the other roles before you can even advance to this role. This role is extremely important, and the reason for this is because foraging or pollination is one of the hive's byproducts that we humans benefit from the most. When a worker bee matures, it develops a working stinger stocked with venom. At this point, it may leave the hive and become a forager bee. 
Foragers are the breadwinners of the hive. They're tasked with scouring a three mile radius from the hive for suitable nectar and pollen. Once its stomach is full and its pollen baskets filled to the brim, a forager will return to the hive to drop off its bounty to one of its sisters. It will then leave again, starting over and continuing the cycle as long as the sun shines. This work, flying sometimes even hundreds of miles per day, will eventually leave its wings torn and tattered. Foraging is one of the last duties a worker bee will perform in its lifetime, and it will work this job until it collapses from exhaustion. The next possible role you could have is guard. The role of the guard bee is one of the few that requires a worker to develop a mature stinger. As a guard, a bee stands watch over any of the hive's entrances. There can be more than one to keep intruders out as necessary. Guards allow foragers from the hive to enter, but keep everyone else out. Bumblebees, wasps, honeybees from other hives, and even humans. Those big giant two-legged creatures, you see them walking by, don't let them mess with your hive, don't let them get too close, as they might damage the queen and they might mess with your home. Sting them if they become close. The next role that you could have is a queen. It's highly unlikely that you will have this role, however, but this job is perhaps the most important because she ensures the future population of the entire hive. She lays up to 2,000 eggs per day, choosing where to lay them and how many of each type, worker or drone, to produce. For the majority of her life, she's sequestered to the hive, only leaving with a swarm of bees or for her mating flight as a young virgin queen. Unlike a worker bee, which may live for three to six weeks during the summer or several months over the winter, a queen bee can live between two and five years. The next possible role which you could have are the drones. Drones have a bad reputation. The, these male bees are often seen as lazy, hungry, and fat members of the hive that mooch off of their sisters' hard work and produce very little in return. There is a bit of truth to this too. Drones don't carry their weight in the hive. They don't make honey, but they do eat it. They don't protect the hive or the queen, and they don't help rear the young. Their job is outside of the hive, to mate with neighboring queens and spread healthy genes. It may seem like an easy job, and let's be honest, it kind of is, but it's no less important than what the ladies do. For the greater survival of the species, healthy drones are critically important. Their population, which is just a mere 500 or so compared to the thousands of female bees which are actually doing the hard work, they, it peaks in spring and early summer when mating occurs. Some drones may hang around in the hive through the summer, but any drones left in the hive come autumn are usually kicked out by their sisters. The harsh reality is that every hand is needed for winter survival, and stores of honey are too precious to waste on drones whose contributions have ended for the year. So if you are born a drone, it's going to be pretty awesome just sitting around doing nothing and then mating with other bees. However, your lifespan is going to be a bit short and you're not going to have so much glamour and glory. So that's it. Those are the nine main roles which you could have as a new bee. Welcome to the hive. And I hope you enjoyed this video introduction to life as a bee. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment which role you would like to take or aspire to be in the comment section below. Also, if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more amazing content. They're out there looking for a home and they found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.